is Bill Leverton, U Center 10, on the Arizona Road. In my time, I've flown in some fairly sophisticated aircraft. And being a pilot, I've even been at the controls a few times. But walking into this building on this day, I would start the process which would put me at the controls, even if only for a few minutes, of one of the world's most sophisticated jet fighters. A flight that would be the envy of all my pilot and non-pilot friends alike. A flight in this sleek aircraft, the F-15. I'd like you to meet Major Daryl Smith of the Triple Nickel Squadron. He's the pilot who will take me for an hour-long high-speed ride over southern Arizona. It takes about three hours of pre-flight briefing before you head out on the flight line. Condensed down, it looks like this. The bottom frequency is the same frequency that emergency locator beacons is on. Do what? <laughs> Are your ears in the end of the cups all the way? Take this and hold it over your nose. Now I'm going to take you up to 41. I want you to take a deep breath and hold it. If you have an emergency on the ground, you have to do an emergency ground egress. You'll have to get yourself out of the airplane because he'll be beating feet himself. <laughs> okay? First thing you want to do is look up and make sure your canopy's good. This guy did tell me that the signal to eject is when the pilot yells at you, bail out, bail out, bail out. And if you're still in the airplane on the third time he yells bail out, you're flying solo. And what we want to do is take it to mild basic fighter maneuvers uh, where we'll end up behind the other aircraft and we'll practice shooting our radar missiles as we come in. We'll practice uh, employing our heat missiles as we come in, and we'll go and try to use basic fighter maneuvers, air combat, to arrive at a guns tracking kill solution on the, the number two aircraft. Well, finally, waddling along like a duck out of water, it's time to go flying. Well, it's uh, the finest airplane in the United States Air Force inventory. It's probably the world's most capable combat aircraft. And it means that we have the capability of defeating the enemy wherever he happens to be throughout the world. Takeoff is a real screamer. A maximum performance takeoff with afterburners and once about 300 miles an hour is reached, a 60 degree climb to 17,000 feet. Flying with us is Captain Bud Temples in a single seat F-15. Now we fly south to the Gila Bend range. We separate, we go south, Captain Temples goes north. Once in position, we try to find Captain Temples on this sophisticated radar and launch heat-seeking and radar missiles at him. Well, not really, but all this simulation will be recorded on a computer and later Major Smith and Captain Temples will be able to tell exactly what would have happened if it had been for real. We're trying to get a, a heat-seeking missile out. And Fox 1. That was a simulated radar missile shot. I've got a tally ho on that. Target 0606. You're looking at videotape from a camera mounted in the F-15. All the information about the flight is displayed here, as well as information about the aircraft you're hunting. You can actually shoot down another aircraft and never see him with a naked eye. Major Smith tries to show me a maximum G turn, but at six and a half Gs, I start to black out. We fly through the speed of sound, almost a thousand miles an hour. This is an airplane that can fly at Mach 2.5 and well over 50,000 feet. Just how high is a secret? There's no question about what we've pushed technology uh, to the limits that we know today, and I think it's embodied in uh, modern-day airplanes, and, and particularly in the F-15. Uh, when I was a youngster, I read Flash Gordon, and uh, now I'm just about flying what Flash Gordon had at that time. All the other stuff was anticlimactic. Back to Luke, shake hands with Colonel Gilchrist, the vice commander, receive a framed picture with patches that proclaim me an eagle driver, and talk about, and talk about, and talk about it, and I'm still talking about it. This is Bill Leverton, Cool News 10, on the Arizona Road.